Hey everybody! Welcome back. Northern Lion, Binding of Isaac, refreshing. How have the last runs gone? Samson tried to become Guppy, failed, still beats Shoal. Isaac tried to become Guppy, failed, still beats Isaac. Eve tried to become Guppy, very luckily became Guppy, kicked the shit out of the game. So I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I should probably fight the boss, just in case we have the chance to gather another reroll before our item room, which we probably won't, but anyway. It's worth a try, just in case this is Curse of the Lost and I just, like, blacked that out from my memory or something. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We've had a really good run of form lately. I think we should probably institute a no guppy rule, maybe, for this run, because we have, uh, you know, gone so hard on the guppy items lately, but, you know, by virtue of the fact that there's so many of them, they are the most common items probably to show up in Deals with the Devil. Um, even though sometimes it may seem like Brimstone is the most common. Mom's Knife, uh, the spawn rate is actually curtailed, it, it seems, a lot. I'm not sure why. There was like a period of like 500 freaking episodes where Mom's Knife was like a 50% chance, per vi on a video to video basis, it was like a 50% chance to show up. Um, that's gone down a lot lately. It's still probably like once every four videos or something like that, but you know, it, we had that like pattern for so long that I kind of just assumed that it was the spawn rate of the item. No such luck, though. I think we're probably gonna end up taking Poison Touch. I don't wanna re-roll it into something shitty. It's not a great item, let's be honest. Uh, it, I mean, it is great. Later. For right now, it just is what it is, which is, um, you know, when we get hit, we don't feel so bad about it because we're gonna do a lot of damage to enemies in the process. We also got a shot speed upgrade um, in the form of stem cells. Of course, it also gives us the HP. That extra HP also feels awesome there. Um, I think we'll save our keys for the next floor, even though it's possible there could be an item half price in our, uh... Well... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save our bomb as well. I was gonna say, well, maybe we'll look for the secret room and blah blah blah, but no, no. We'll just play it cool here. It's been very good we got 2 HP on the first floor here. That doesn't happen all that often. Um, and that puts us in a good position to possibly, uh... Be able to trade a bunch away on a deal with the devil here. But anyway, uh, good, good first floor, but, um, you know, we didn't get the greatest items of all time. That being said, we're still in a pretty comfortable position uh, for how things are looking moving forward. We could have actually spawned an arcade on this floor as well. So this is... I always forget. It's the inner eye. Okay, so there's, there's way too many eyes in this game. I hope the icons are a little bit more differential in Rebirth. Although, maybe they already are different. Already are differential, and I just uh, don't know them that well. Or different, not differential. Trying to make myself sound too fancy, but anyway, we uh, got triple shot. Triple shot's a good item. Shows up a lot more rarely than quad shot, it seems, for reasons again unbeknownst to me. But that's okay because triple shot is—it's uh, quite a nice item. I guess it's not as good as quad shot unless it carries some kind of like—it doesn't carry the the damage penalty that that quad shot carries with it. But whatever, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, it's something that we're certainly not going to reroll, and it looks like we will have a pretty good deal with the devil chance here. We even got a spirit heart, which is awesome to maybe guarantee us or secure us a deal with the devil in the, the future. But for now, let's just take you out, see what we get. It's more HP, which I'm not going to pick up in case we have nine lives in here. I guess we, we're going back on that no guppy deal already, but we're going to pick up common cold, and we're going to reroll Sister Maggie. I'm not going to pick up Guppy's Paw. We're going to play a much more traditional run here, I guess. So, we basically got, let's just imagine we got Common Cold from that, uh, from that boss fight. That's something that would make us pretty excited. Now we have Triple Shot, Common Cold, uh, plenty of poison damage will be coming out as a result of that. L hoping to find the secret room, get some more money, that extra key is actually awesome because, oh, that sucks. But that's okay, we already got our deal with the devil. Um, we'll be able to, uh, open up that golden chest, possibly helping us get enough money to go into the, uh into the shop and buy something. We'll probably go to the shop regardless because we, uh... Why? Eh, we could find something half price and we have a lot of keys, I guess. I had to question myself in the middle. I was like, why, Brain, why did you say that? Okay, never mind, I got it. So the reason I chose to come to this room, uh, earlier than necessary was because I was worried that what w did happen actually would happen. That we would end up taking damage and not have, uh, not have full health and be able to get in here. So, you know, strike while the iron's hot. That's my philosophy on this. Anyway, we will have another reroll for the shop, which is nice. We used one on a deal with the devil, one with the shop, and we got triple shot in our item room. So that's, that's a pretty exciting turn of events. I would love to get some more bomb drops. That, uh, that doesn't really help that much. Probably. Another key is nice. Uh, 
Oh, there's our secret room. So that actually is very nice. It kind of sorts this out for us. But I am just going to blow this up. We are one cent away or two cents away yeah, from actually being able to make this work. Which is great because we can actually just go down here and play our blood bank now. Guaranteed get to 15 cents. Very, very easily. And then see what we've got in our shop. And of course, I would love to get the blood bag as a result of this. But for now, this is fine. Remember, we do have that spirit heart that we'll pick up when we leave the floor. That'll back us up a little bit as well. Our golden chest. Tammy's head. Which is re-rollable if our shop item ends up being uh, decent enough to just pick up as is. Which I hope it is. Maybe a compass right off the bat. Alrighty then. <laughs> Lucky me. Now, I would like to get a little bit more money. Uh, I would love to get a bomb as well. But that's not going to happen. But, you know, to buy this key or even buy the spirit heart. But... Let's come back here, reroll Tammy's head first. It becomes PhD, which is extremely nice because it gives us that extra HP. I don't want to take this pill just yet. Not just yet. It's a health upgrade, we know it! Wow, that is super good luck. So hopefully we can get another HP upgrade right here. I'm actually very excited about the way that this, this run is shaking out right now. Alright. I don't want to necessarily go too hard here. But I do think we have a very good chance to set ourselves up with, if not HP, uh, at least a, a ton of money that will make shops on the next floor and hopefully floors thereafter valuable as well. Or viable as well. So we're already up to 22 cents. We'll have two spirit hearts backing us up. We have some red hearts on... Or do we have red hearts in here? We don't. We only have the spirit heart. Okay. Good to know. So we will buy the spirit heart. And I think we can afford to buy the key as well. Just to make sure we can open up more golden chests in the future, even. And, uh, This health upgrade doesn't give us a red heart when we use it. No, it just gives us the red heart container. Which is fine. But, uh, just wanted to make sure. Now, it is a little risky here, but I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna go down to a half heart. And... That's gonna do it right there. Alright, well, we tried. And... Again, this was not an arcade, so it's a free blood bank. It's one that we wouldn't have expected to show up either way. We got a ton of money on this floor. We're very low on consumable HP. But that's something that's usually pretty easy to come by. And uh, we're, we're in a glorious position as a result of the way things went down here. Common Cold plus Triple Shot gained a ton of HP. Also got the Compass. Good stuff. Alright, let's try to find our way to the shop and item room, I guess. Because they look closer. It's probably for the best to find your way to the boss room more quickly. That was bad, but I realized pretty early there wasn't a way for us to get out of that. Um, yeah, probably better to get to the boss early, but uh, this is okay. These ones appeared closer, so it seemed like a smart play. Alright. Don't take any damage. This is the most fragile part of this run, if all goes well. We get out of this, we get back to full HP. We have PhD. I forgot to, uh, to mention that. You probably remembered. Interesting. Homing bombs are alright. Battery is, I think, worth picking up in this situation. And uh, we're just gonna get all of this stuff just so our HP is a little bit stronger. Uh, with the battery, we can probably afford to reroll a little bit more. But I'm just gonna take Bobby Bomb. The five extra bombs are what they are. Fairly nice. Uh, and uh, the homing bombs makes other synergies better. I think it's worth taking. Maybe it's a bit of a, a bit of a coward's way out. That was awful damage as well. But a um, bit of a coward's way out because we had plenty of rerolls, but or plenty of reroll potential, but this is fine. I'm I'm more than happy to have battery and compass on the third floor from our shops. That's a uh, pretty good payout considering how relatively early we are in the, the whole process here. Oh. It's alright. Now just I know I've taken a lot of dumb damage on this floor. If we can just beat the boss without taking damage, that would be lovely for me so I could trade away some of this HP that I'm clearly not even using because it's not full um, if we trade it away and uh, pick up something better on a deal with the devil Bob's your uncle we're sitting in the clear aren't we now this could be like a second secret room there was no time for me to leave there it actually couldn't be a second secret room but I thought I'd play out the drama a little bit and who knows maybe it could have been the actual secret room that that actually could happen although it's not the most likely place for it to show up that was uh Bad uh, placement on this dodge here, but this is okay. So with triple shot and poison damage, we should be in the clear from a damage perspective here. We're not quite, uh, you know, wrecking Gertie as much as I hoped we would. But, 
Gertie is a little bit tanky, I guess. Relative to some of the bosses that we could be fighting at this point. So, it's alright. I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not taking this as indicative of us being super weak right now. Just not as strong, perhaps, as I would like to be. And... Trying to bait Gertie into a shot here, but Gertie seems to disagree and say, I don't want to take a shot, I would rather just spawn enemies and like completely block off half of the map to you. I was going to say, don't get hit at the end, like one shot away from Gertie actually dying. Now we actually have the floor drop some HP, it's being nice to us finally. Don't get hit by the nub. And a range upgrade. Which turns into pills, which I think is fantastic since we have PhD. Do we have a uh, an HP upgrade in there? Let's try uh, range up. Okay, and come on, PhD, identify yourself. What about this one? Speed up. We can afford to take two of those. And pretty fly. Uh, it's it's all right. You know, would I have been happy to fight pestilence and get a cube of meat? Happy is probably not not the right word, but I would have been content, right? Well, we got basically cube of meat in the form of pretty fly. Yes, I know there are some meaningful differences between them, but um, then we got a speed, or well, two speed, and a range upgrade as well. So I think that's adequate. I can't believe we didn't get to uh, deal with the devil, but oh well. This is a new instance of Isaac. It's not the same exe as the last run. Wow, the secret room is totally hidden. I'm really not comfortable going to the the curse room in our situation here. I'm just gonna try here, even though there's a couple different locations it could be. Just had a hunch. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not comfortable. We didn't get as much red HP as I thought we would on that floor, so, you know, find myself in a bit of a vulnerable position. I don't think this will work, but maybe. Uh, I'd like to get some more red hearts first before I, I try anything funny like that is what I'm trying to get at. Alright, we have triple shot. Triple shot should allow us to hit some of these enemies. Assuming we can poison them as well. Look at this bullshit. Assuming we can poison them as well, we should be able to do good crowd control here. Oh, that feels good. I hate this room. Okay. There's another arcade. Uh, Demon Baby. Demon Baby's like... Alright. But with the battery and it being so early in this floor, I think it's maybe best for us to just reroll it. Uh, bomb Bag is not good enough for our current needs. I want, now that I've said for my current needs, I really want to own a power company. Not least of which because it would make me, at the very least, like a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire. But seriously, just to come up with a slogan for all your current needs, Northern Line Power. Wouldn't that be amazing? So we know that that's a speed upgrade. Um, it's also Bum Friend. Bum Friend is a garbage item that I would very much prefer to reroll, even more so than Bomb Bag, even though Bomb Bag has some obvious negative repercussions. For all your current needs. So there's our secret room. We can be very confident of that because there's a mini boss in it, which means it's greed. Um, I wanted to use death here because this room's a little annoying sometimes. But it's not the right play because it, it wouldn't actually kill anything. It would just knock them down into the silkworm state. Which is uh, Missouri, in case you were wondering. That's actually the show me state, I suppose. Why do I know that? It's an interesting conundrum here. Do we reroll Bomb Bag or do we reroll uh, Bum Friend? I think we reroll Bum Friend, and you might be saying, but Northern Line, you don't have 15 cents. Yes, but there is an arcade on this floor. Yes, but Northern Line, you don't have very many red hearts. That's something you express a lot of anxiety about in the past. Yes, but I had never learned from my mistakes. How about that? Gotcha, logic. Now. We have a... Well, we also have that Greed mini-boss fight. Is it even... That might not be Greed. That might just be a mini-boss. Oh, if it's Gluttony, I would be so happy. But uh, let's just come up here to our boss fight first. You know what? Why take chances, right? That is another pretty fly, which is awesome. Um, I think we go to one more room before our boss fight. I know we have Battery and would probably get a reroll charge on our boss fight. But why tempt fate, right? Let's Let's be safe here. Yeah, keep jumping instead of shooting. That's that's what I like. And if we could just get, like, back to full HP once, we could stay there more or less. And that would be very nice. As is right now, I'm a little nervous about the situation we find ourselves in. Pretty sweet uh, aiming with those triple shots, though. And there, we have a reroll, so I totally wasted one room. 
Oh well. Time to go fight the boss. Uh, I, eh, it wouldn't be the worst thing if we fought Pestilence, but it's probably better that we're fighting a more vanilla-y boss. Now, don't be an idiot. This should be a boss that, even if, I was gonna say, even if I get hit, I shouldn't take red heart damage, but I'm disappointed that I got hit in the first place. I can't seem to land a shot now. I landed all those tricky shots earlier. This boss is apparently uh, impossible to maneuver around. There we go. Oh, we got an eternal heart, so that makes me feel a lot better. We won't pick that up just yet, because we would lose it on the blood bank straight away. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I got hit again. But we did get a deal with the devil, so we're not becoming guppy, so we can pick up our HP guilt-free. Totally want to get the mark. Totally want to reroll nine lives. Book of Belial's not good enough, but I'm super stoked to have the mark. Alright, everything feels a lot better now. Okay, so we have no reroll ready, but we do have enough rooms to probably generate one. It looks like we'll be taking the bomb bag. I don't love the idea of taking the bomb bag from this floor, as you can probably gather. Makes the miter a lot worse, just makes it harder for us to generate spirit hearts or get spirit heart consumables to begin with, uh, in general. But, we will do it if it makes... Uh, is it better to take it or not take it? I do still think it's better to take it. You know, having more bombs is nice. We probably won't get the miter. I'm gonna just cool it on this fight until, um... Stop killing yourself, please. Don't kill yourself, I need one more charge on this D6. Just wait a moment. Don't do it! Oh, we, it did it. Okay, good, good, good. Now we can shoot you. Alright, we got Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom's garbage. But I'd rather, um... I'd rather reroll our, uh... Shop item because, well, many reasons, but one is it could become 9 volt, which would give us a free reroll. Oh, fuck, right off the bat. Or it could become um, Nun's Habit, which would have allowed us to get a free reroll, uh, several free rerolls from that blood bank. Well, we have four pedestals and we don't want any of them right now. We can easily still at this point trade HP for. Uh, for money via the IV bag, so I still think the shop is probably the best play, but there's no guarantees We're, We'll be leaving this floor and never returning uh, Yes, yeah, so there were some botched items there mind you we still got uh, two HP a tears upgrade and the mark and the bomb bag So for one floor, that's a pretty sweet payout It just could have been better our shop ended up being awful um, bad payout from Wrath and bad payout on our arcade as well, but whatever. What's done is done, right? Now we're on Necropolis. Careful. Good, good, good. Okay, we took out the most annoying of the enemies. So yeah, I mean, that floor was, was great, but it could have been amazing. Like, it could have been a run winner in and of itself. Instead, it was just a, a great contributor to what I hope is going to be a one run. And this is our boss area right over here. Please, thank you. Makes my life a lot easier when you just blow up all of the cover surrounding you. We have a one range upgrade, so we can pretty easily just stand in a relatively safe zone and fire in shots that do damage over time. And that's good too. Need to keep ourselves safe here. We are in Necropolis. It's a. Uh, it's not the best place to be in the game. Uh, in terms of like overall strength versus. The strength of the enemies. Oftentimes, I think Necropolis is one of the hardest floors in the game. Hey, a health upgrade. I'm not going to take that just yet, just in case somehow getting extra health counts as a... Uh, counts as losing red hearts. I know that sounds incredibly stupid, but it does give us an empty red heart. So I don't know how this game classifies stuff like that. Getting a cube of meat is, you know, nice, I guess. It does give us a full suite of orbitals, whereas we only had two-thirds of one before. And it gives us some orbital damage, which is helpful. But, uh, I'm really thankful I took those two speed upgrades earlier. Had the choice to just take one, or neither, but that would have been really dumb. But, uh, I always prefer to err on the side of more speed. For the most part. You know, you can always force yourself to go slower when you have too much speed. Even if you do take some dumb damage in the process. It's a lot harder to force yourself to go faster if your speed is capped. And by harder, I mean, like, quite literally impossible, I guess. So we know this shop is going to be worthwhile for us because, well, it, it's going to at the very least not have greed in it because we have um, another mini boss up here. Doesn't look like a secret room either, which is great because it could be a good mini boss for us. Hopefully something other than Ultra Pride though because I don't want to lose these spirit hearts, which could still benefit me in helping to generate a deal with the devil later on. For now though, just spawn uh, the bomb flies, finish the job. 
and take you guys out from afar. One more like that. A little ambitious on that dodge there, but that's okay. Okay. I hate this room. This is one of the rooms that I hope gets quote unquote fixed in rebirth. Because it's super annoying. I am going to open this actually. Wow, that's pretty good. It's super annoying to have to either use the green nub or a bomb to actually do damage to enemies. Usually you just wait on the green nub. So we rerolled uh, our magnet. Magnet was bad for us last run, but whatever. I thought it was smart to reroll it just in case we get the ability to fly. Plus, magnet's just not that good to begin with. Our mini boss is Lust again, taking those speed upgrades, proving pretty darn helpful right now. Very easy, and we get another health upgrade in the process. So PhD is is quickly proving its uh, efficacy. The more and more pills we get, we've gotten three HP upgrades off of it so far, along with uh, a couple of speed, a couple of range, or one range, one tiers, I think. Just be cool here. The longer we spend on this fight, the the more uh, reroll charges we gain in the process. So, I'm not going to complain too hard about it. Probably will open this golden chest. We've got a surplus of keys right now. Might as well abuse it. That's another HP upgrade, which at this point is just getting comical. Good comical, though. Yeah, that's uh, that's a free ability to fly, isn't it? Fate. That's why I wasn't so psyched. One of the reasons I wasn't so psyched about picking up the magnet. Our luck is absurd right now. It, it actually is crazy. So let's reroll portable slot. It becomes spider butt. Spider butt is not very good. But we have the battery, so that allows us to... Uh, get many more rerolls than would otherwise be possible. This is looking like a, uh, a very traditionally overpowered run, if that makes sense. This is not, uh, you know, your your guppy, super high rate of fire polyphemus or anything like that. This is your old school, tons of HP, ability to fly, uh, and then you just whittle enemies down, which is fine. Interesting bomb, just stack it up in the ether there. I can't believe that didn't blow up the slot machine. The map. We have the compass. We want the map. It's possible we won't even have a chance to get the map, but we should be able to. If we find the secret room and or blow up the slot machine and or shoot all the poop and or, you know, mob trap room, if there's any more golden chests, there should be possibilities to eke another five cents out of this floor. Not always, but often at least. This is a very slow and... Uh, not so fantastic fight, but that's okay. We're gonna get another reroll as a result of my ineptitude. Battery kind of rewards bad play, I guess. Or, shall we say, deliberate and or methodical play. That's a much more polite way to put it. Far right here will give us another reroll on Spider Bud. Battery is the worst of all the items that augment your spacebar item as far as I'm concerned, but better to have it than not have it if given the choice. Two of spades, uh, we'll save. We'll save it until we use a key again. There's a chance that this might, oh, the counterfeit penny or, um, I would actually just prefer a lump sum payment of uh, pennies here, but counterfeit penny should allow us to have a better chance of getting money if more money shows up. Plus we didn't have a trinket, so, you know, I guess this is beneficial for the future, but counterfeit penny's usefulness kind of falls off a little bit once there's no longer shops, because, you know, What's, what's the average number of judgments you get? Or average number of times you end up spending money after uh, after you run out of shops? It's low. For most, or for myself at least. I guess I shouldn't speak for most people necessarily. Let's work our way over to this mob trap room over here. Really just hoping there's money involved. Thank you. Uh, we'll open it. We'll pop two of spades first, then we'll open it. I was gonna say we get two of spades out of it. <laughs> that would be great, actually. But uh, two of clubs is basically quite similar. We'll double our bombs before we start looking for secret rooms and that'll give us a nice number of homie bombs for the future. There's probably something to be said for saving it and I don't necessarily disagree. Save it till we get like 30 bombs or something like that, but I don't know. I prefer to cash out quickly with something that's good then uh, wait forever for something that may not help us out. Or that may not come to pass, I guess I should say. You know, it's the philosophy of bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But if we can get some more bombs in the process first, that would be for the best too. 
Now, ideally, I would like to find the map before we look for a secret room, but that's looking increasingly unlikely. So, the tarot cards get re-rolled into Guardian Angel, which is totally acceptable for us. Especially considering we already have a full suite of orbitals, this is quite nice. Again, not using two of clubs just yet, and not looking for the secret room just yet until I can figure out uh, if we can just get five cents on the ground randomly. Starting to get a little bit more nervous about the prospect of us just never getting the money that we need to, to make this happen. Which is not unlikely. It's probably less likely than finding the money, but we're, we're running out of rooms here. In fact, this might be the last room on the far right here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, we've at least used our rerolls properly. We ended up snagging a uh, pretty solid item as a result. Now we will look for the secret room, which means we'll pop two of clubs right away. In addition, I think that it's totally justifiable to put a bomb down here. And get a red heart back, which actually I do need, but it's not really what I was looking for there. So, obviously, we're really hoping that we get more than five cents here. Otherwise, the map is going to be gone. Ah, uh, that'll do it. That'll sort that out just fine. And more than enough money to probably have a good chance, uh, pretty much the same chance of buying something on the next floor if we don't run into greed. But it's pretty likely we will run into greed. Thought maybe my uh, reckless buying of consumables was going to come back to bite me in the ass, but luckily no. So again, this is a great floor. Uh, we got Cube of Meat, Guardian Angel, Map, HP upgrade, and uh, free ability to fly. The HP upgrade is the Eternal Heart. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a very solid Necropolis one as far as I'm concerned. No arcade means we're probably not going to be able to make that boss trap room. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, uh, I don't want to pick up that red heart yet, so we'll just save that for a second. I had a feeling we'd probably end up dealing with greed. That's okay. He drops Steam Sale. We re-roll the shit out of it. End up getting Nun's Habit. No, just plain old useless money. Uh, why don't I want to pick up that red heart yet? Because I'd rather uh, use it on Demon Judgment, but I'd rather use it to get back to full health after we play Demon Judgment and go to this boss trap room to see what they've got in there. I don't know how many spirit hearts we have. It can't be that many, so I'm a little bit wary of going super low on our uh, HP to make it happen. But I still think it is probably the right play. One bomb for a zombie is not a good trade. But one bomb for a room full of zombies is an okay trade. In here we have another key. It's nice if we find more golden chests, we'll open them. But for now, this is the Demon Judgment Show. It'll probably pay out more quickly than we want it to. It probably won't allow us to get low enough to actually get into the uh, boss trap room is what I'm getting at. But it, the secondary thing, or maybe even the primary thing about Demon Judgment is that it could give us a good deal with the Devil item. Or at least a re-rollable one. We've got like 15 more plays until we actually get low enough to be able to go into that boss trap room. All it's given us so far is the tower card. Alright, we're getting close now. I was going to say, it'll pay out like just before. Alright, well, we won't use that yet, just in case we still can get in. Oh, there we go. It was worth it. Skeleton key. Feels good. Now, there might be another temperance card. There might just be a random blood bank or something sitting around. I hope there's another, you know temperance card sitting around, because I did sacrifice a lot of HP. I mean, I think it was worth it to get an item this good. We don't have, uh, we don't have Guppy's Tail, but Skeleton Key is still awesome. Mind you, we do still have a lot of red hearts here backing us up, so it's not like it was all for naught. Or it's not like it's even that dangerous, I guess I should say. I'm not using our rerolls that effectively, but we haven't had anything to reroll yet, basically, so I don't feel like that's our fault necessarily either. Now, we'll just shoot in shots from afar here. Isaac 2, the return of shots from afar. Should have basically no ability to deal damage to me. Golden chest. This is the one time I want golden chest. Okay. This is a little scary, I guess. One bomb for two zombies is alright, but I did take some dumb damage in there in the process as well. Rosary. I'm going to take it, and some people are going to be displeased with that. But I think the extra spirit hearts... I, I, like, Rosary is one of the, those few items in Isaac 
that has actually started working its way kind of up my power rankings again. Not because, you know, it's very good in and of itself, but there's so many good situational uses for three spirit hearts that uh, I, I do think it's worth picking up. I don't think we're going to be able to go to this boss trap room. So let's just take our red hearts uh, and, and finish off the floor. And with the rerolls uh, that we'll be getting, you know, the Bible showing up once is not the end of the world. So three spirit hearts for a reroll is fine in my mind. And uh, having the extra spirit hearts to back us up, sometimes it, it can be uh, the difference between life and death. It probably wouldn't be in our situation, but I still think it's worth taking. A lot of people disagree and think the rosary is garbage, though. And you know what? You may be right. Early game, uh, rosary, I think, is a lot worse. But if, you, if those spirit hearts allow you to get a deal with the devil, maybe it's all been worth it, you know? Let's sacrifice one of those, or half of those spirit hearts. Never mind. We're going to move down, and we have uh, two more rooms to go before our boss here. And we're in a very, very good position. This is where I normally like to do my uh, forecasting for how this run's going to go. Well, we we have the ability to fly. Plenty of damage with Mark, Triple Shot, etc., etc. Common Cold. Uh, tons of HP. Plenty of keys. Map plus compass. So we're in a fantastic position moving forward. And if we could just get a, uh, a deal with the devil maybe on Womb Part 1 that has, like, Guppy's Paw, Guppy's Tail, we're in the clear. Um, I mean, we're probably... Possibly, at least, in the clear already. Now, there is uh, there's another red heart up there, but let's live dangerously a little. Blue mom. Now, listen up. Here's a story about a little mom that lived in a blue world. All day and all night, and everything she sees is just blue. Like her, inside and outside. You think maybe, like, uh, she was just wearing, like, some glasses or something like that. You just... She lives her whole life, and then she's like, oh, where are my sunglasses? Oh, I've been wearing them the whole time. Oh, well, that explains it. This world isn't actually nearly as blue as I uh, as I originally anticipated or perceived that it was. I hate this room right now. Um, could you give me, like, a few less keepers, maybe, to make my life uh, a more enjoyable experience, top to bottom? We're still doing damage here, which is nice, but... Keepers are the most annoying enemy by far and take the most shots to kill. There we go. Two, like, single conga liners. No big deal. We had a brief moment of respite with no keepers. At least now we only have one. Okay. Stop spawning enemies. Start spawning your own foot. Stop thinking Prague Police. Start thinking PlayStation. And get out of there. Okay. Okay. This has been, like, the most difficult dodging on a mom fight that I've had in a long, long time. It's almost o There we go. It's over. Squeezy's totally okay. I'm very happy to take that with me. The tears upgrade plus the spirit hearts backing it up. Quite nice. Down to the next floor. Map plus compass allows us to very easily find where our uh, boss room is. And let that finish the job there. Uh, yeah, I would... Uh, probably say the safe money is on us getting a deal with the devil here. And if we do, there's some very good items. Don't kid yourself, I would probably totally take mom's knife in this situation and not feel bad about it. This run is pretty much sorted as is. Which is nice to say, that's uh, several victories in a row. Especially if you count the one on Shoal, which different people will or won't for their own reasons, I suppose. But I'm feeling like I'm in a little bit of a... Approaching maybe another golden age of Isaac. You know, another streak, or at least a, a mini streak, if you will. Like when your dad was in college. Yeah, that was just offensive. I apologize for that. Sort of. I know that ruined our half-heart interval. We should have plenty of time to get it uh, back. I'd mostly just want to get back to full HP, because our red hearts are a big strength for us right now. So it's death, um, you know... That's fine. The item that he's going to give me, I, I did take some damage. It's it's hard to avoid taking damage against death with these scythes, uh, depending on the items you actually have at your disposal. That one probably should have hit me as well. But anyway, give us a second level cube of meat. A little extra damage. It's kind of like we have quad shot instead of triple shot, right? Because we do have... Um, nice. We do have four shots coming out every time we shoot with uh, that second level cube of meat. Ooh, come on. Nice. Uh, that was dumb, but somehow it all worked out in my favor. Really should have been punished for a mistake like that. Instead, my uh, 
You know, poor Isaac Fu was just going to continue to go unchecked. No deal with the devil. But our second level cube of meat, so be it. Down to the next floor. And another very quick trip to our boss room here. Could use two bombs to make it even faster. Probably won't. Ah, maybe I will because I'm going to go to the secret room anyway. It's not like we're trying to get a reroll charged up or anything. For one, we already have them. For two, we don't even get an item from Mom's heart anyway. Alright, you guys think you're real fucking clever. If I just kill one of you, then it's, it's going to be very difficult for the other one to stand up. And your bombs are already homing. Please, just die. Like, I have the speed necessary to easily get away. I feel bad for your kid brother here. He's just hurting himself. His bombs are too sticky, man. Ah, that was, uh, I just headbutted him to finish the job there. Probably a little bit overkill. So we're just gonna go through all the rooms, just in case we end up getting, like, spirit heart drops or something like that. Maybe compensate for the health that I lost. Might prove to be a pretty dumb decision if I end up taking a ton of damage as a result, but we're strong enough that this probably shouldn't happen. And who knows, maybe we get some golden chests or something like that. That's what it's all about at this point. Ooh, that was a little dangerous. Uh, it, seriously, like, since we've gotten the skeleton key... I don't think we've opened any fucking doors. Maybe the one item room. Alright, Lover's card is good, pretty good. At this point, I'm only saving the tower card because... Oh, I didn't even go to the secret room. We can go back to it, though. At this point, I'm only saving the tower card because uh, maybe I'll get D20 on the chest. It's a... You know, it's better than not saving it. I think. There's no reason not to save it. It's not like we have anything better, uh, you know, burning a hole in our pocket or anything like that. And we should still be totally fine, but I'm a little nervous for uh, for the chest. Depends on the enemies we face. We've got a ton of HP, but I always feel a little bit more comfortable with permanent Polaroid invincibility and all that. Alright, so we should be in permanent bomb state after Duke of Flies, maybe? Oh, before Duke of Flies is even over. So stupid. I was trying to get in there to just, like, over-eager shoot a bomb in there. Um, it's a total waste. It's alright, though. One more spirit heart down the drain. We picked up a red heart. Yeah, they're coming to the point where those are almost proportional. I didn't even go to the secret room. That's how lazy I am right now. Let's put this bag down here. Check it out. All right. Maybe that's what we missed out on. And one bomb to skip one room. That yeah, seems fair at this point in the game. Too bad we couldn't skip this room. Now, the angel fetuses are not the smartest AI in the game, you know, they're no mask of infamy, so they can totally get crushed by those uh, blue spikes. This room is really annoying. That was awful damage on my part, but also this room is just really, really fucking annoying. So ideally, I'd like to kill both greeds before uh, aggravating that fistula. That bomb's gonna make that an impossibility, though. You know, I really brought it on myself there, didn't I? Yeah, uh, please get out of the crossfire here. I'm getting caught up in it. Okay, stand back. Now, there's, this room looks quite nice now. There's three very simple enemies. One of which is a mini-boss, but still. Poison damage, we're done. Money equals power would be a, a nice addition to our arsenal right now, but come on. Come on. Not too many opportunities for that to show up right now. So, I feel like we should be totally fine against uh, Isaac. Could use the tower card against him, but uh, I'm just as likely to hurt myself in the process. So, I think we'll just kind of do things the old-fashioned way, if you will. Any spirit hearts, like, at all? Red hearts, even? No? Okay. Well, we will take our bomb. It, it is going to be useful. Now, we have a full suite of orbitals, so generally in this position, I prefer not to dodge. Because I usually end up dodging us into shots, whereas, you know, Guardian Angel augmented uh, suite of orbitals is pretty good about keeping me out of harm's way just by blocking all the incoming shots, or at the very least, many of the incoming shots. More than I would be able to dodge personally. So we got through the first phase without getting hit. Or sorry, getting hit once, that's fine. Got hit again, we go up, drop a bomb. I can't remember if I got Poison Touch on this run or the last run. I think it was the last run. We still have Spirit Hearts off the screen, which, I mean, for us is only two. So once they start whittling down, we're gonna see that, uh, we're gonna see the danger come pretty quickly. That being said, that was danger come, like, we're gonna see the danger come, not like, 
I don't know, the greatest name for a porno of all time. So we do have a Spirit Heart now not off the screen, which sucks pretty hard. I had a feeling we were probably getting pretty close to the end of our rope with respect to those. You always, you know, kind of live in denial and hope that you have a few more, though. We are at a half heart interval now, so we'll get a brief period of Polaroid invincibility. Mom's Bra, Little Chad, Kamikaze, and Teleport. Well, these are all bad. Mom's Bra is an acceptable item to take into the boss room, but we... It's all or nothing, right? Like, we can't take Mom's Bra and reroll the other three unless we find another golden chest elsewhere, which, which would waste some reroll charges. So we're going to reroll all four. Um, and I think... I think we'll take Relic and Celtic Cross. Even though they're not... Like, we might get one extra invincibility out of Celtic Cross, and we might get one Spirit Heart out of Relic, but I'm not judging the items on their, like, objective merits at this point. It's more like, you know, one Spirit Heart could be enough to tip the difference in our favor. We don't need Polyphemus to win, and you don't get any extra points for winning, um, you know, handily versus uh, just eking out a victory. And I think this is just a sensible choice here. We should get at least one more uh, Spirit Heart from the Relic. Celtic Cross will give us probably one invincibility, is my guess. And we still have two pedestals left to reroll, which is nice. I think the opportunity costs kind of like added up there. Come on. All right, so we'll check this out quickly. Yeah, um, Unicorn Horn is worth taking into the boss room. Or worth re-rolling if we get, like, two good items from this uh, area over here, which we probably won't. We did. <laughs> so, after saying we don't need Polyphemus, we got Polyphemus. And then we also have Mr. Mega as well. So now we could re-roll Unicorn Horn, or we could take it in. I think it's more exciting to, to re-roll it than to take it in. So, our damage is pretty solid now, as you might expect, with, um, you know, Common Cold, Mark, Triple Shot, Polyphemus. We did get carried a little bit. We were going to win regardless. Don't get too salty about that. And this is still, like, less DPS than we were doing even on the last run. But, uh, yeah, th this is comfortable. Anytime you're gaining HP on the chest, you're doing something right. And our speed is more than enough to get out of the way here. Quite easily. Even Mr. Mega is a huge get for us. Um... You know, helps our bombs become even better. Now they're... You know, remember when I picked it up? I said it'll make other synergies better. Well, here we are. They actually do substantially more damage than our tears. Homing Mr. Mega Bombs. And then we don't have poison bombs, but we do have, you know, the ability to poison enemies super, super easily. So we kind of have poison as well. So there's our uh, Relic Spirit Heart, which I had asked for earlier. Hopefully this is something good, otherwise we just kind of wasted it. It's a one-up. Alright, well, now if we were going to die, we'll respawn with like 10 HP. But we're, we're good. We're fine here. So pop the tower card quickly, and just get the fuck out of the way. That was pretty much a total waste. Run in, drop some bombs. Now we're not probably to the point where we can tank the boss, but look at how much damage we're doing, uh, and, and how quickly we're doing it. Should be completely fine here. Yeah, this is very comfortable. We're in the third phase already. Full suite of orbitals. Mr. Mega homing bombs. Polyphemus triple shot. And like 10 red hearts. So thanks PhD. Thanks triple shot. Thanks bombs. Thanks Polyphemus. Another good run. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.